What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, today I decided to uh, change it up a little bit and uh, it's been a while since I've done this. But I'm uh, here on the uh, Remontorly Coast and uh, I decided to bring the lever action rifles which is the 4570 and the 3030. Now I find this is a good combination to use on this map because the 3030 is good from class 2 to 6. So the raccoon dogs are actually level 2 and the lynx are level 3 so that's going to be a good rifle to use on them and I can also use it on whitetail and anything bigger I got the 4570 so for the brown bear and the moose I'll be using the 4570 so I'm going to get back to you when I find uh, something uh, decent to shoot at so I'll see you guys later Alright guys, so I got a call from a Lynx. I just spotted this level 6. About 80 yards out. So like I said, I brought the 30-30. I'm going to range it in for 109. Oh, where did it go? Is it by behind the tree? Okay, I lost sight of him. I don't think he was nervous. I'm gonna see if I can call him again. Oh, there he is. And that's why I like using the 3030 on the Lynx. Alright guys, so uh, let's pick them up. There is vital uh, blood on the ground. 65 yards got a double lung. I did shoot a bit high on that shot. Very nice Lynx. Alright guys. I happened to turn around and I forgot that it was uh, drinking time for the moose, so there's a few that did come in. Unfortunately, I don't don't have anything uh, decent, but I do want to use the 4570. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to get a follow-up, but these guys are 160, 140. So with the 4570 you only got three shots and with the 3030 you got four. But I think I'm gonna go for this guy first and I'll see if I'm able to make a follow-up. I should have pulled the trigger. Well that's the guy that I shot at. So he's definitely going down. I'm pretty sure I got a lung on him. Alright guys, here's the bull moose. Not a very big bull, but uh, he's going to be good for a respawn. So 140 yards. Got a left lung. Now one thing you got to keep in mind when you're using these lever action. Um, they're not really the best for range. So as you can see, if you look on the, where I'm changing my zeroing. So you can zero in for 54 yards. 164 and then 109. Now the longest shot that I've uh, shot with one of the lever rifles, uh, I believe it was the 4570. I shot a Plains Bison with it at 250 yards, but I basically uh, had the sights aimed right on his uh, vertebrae because you got to really compensate for that bullet drop. So that's a little heads up if you want to go for long distance shooting. But anyways, let's move on and uh, find something else. Alright guys, so I uh, decided to uh, come to another uh, good spot for hunting moose. And I uh, found something decent to shoot at. Another level 4 bull moose. Now his estimate is 243 to 297. 
and you need a 274.99 for a diamond. And yes, it is possible to have uh, a diamond level 4, because I did, uh, I do have one in the lodge, it was a level 4 bull moose and it scored diamond. So I'm going to get in better uh, range than this guy and I'm going to see if I can take him down with a 45-70. Alright guys, I'm about 164 yards from him. Only problem is, I'd rather take a shot when he's broadside. You gotta be kidding. Okay, his health is slowly dropping. I did put two shots. I'm pretty sure I got a vital on him. He's going down. Alright guys, here's the bull moose down. Very nice looking bull. Now I did check out his blood splatter and it was considered uh, vital. So let's go ahead and pick him up. Scoring 258, got him at 161 yards, so the first shot got a right lung, so that's a pretty good shot, and got him in the leg. Like I said, still a nice uh, bull. And uh, on my way here p to uh, harvest this bull moose, I thought about it. And uh, the level 4 bull moose that scored diamond, it actually scored uh, 278 if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, like I said, that was a big uh, level 4 uh, bull moose. Alright, let's move on. Alright guys, so I actually backed up the time to 8.30 in the morning and I came to a lake. It is the time for the whitetail to... Uh, come in and to drink. So that's a decent sized buck there. He's about 200 yards out. Got some bucks here. I got a new zone here that I just spotted out. And over here to the left I got a doe. There's another buck there. Another one there. And I got some more here. Now I'm going to be using the 30-30 I don't know if I really want to go for this guy. I'm just going to verify his range. He's a decent sized buck. It's about 200 yards. I don't really want to go for that kind of shot, but I might go ahead and try it. His health is dropping. I'm not too sure if that was a good shot. But we'll put a follow-up in him. That should take him down. I'm not too sure about the second buck that I shot. I believe these guys were all spooked. Alright folks, I believe this is my big buck. So let's pick him up. So the first shot, I actually uh, got penetration at 214 yards, got the right lung. Then I pulled off the left lung. That was a little low, but I didn't manage to pull it off at 235. Scoring 213. Alright folks, here's the other buck. I had a little trouble trying to find him. He wasn't leaving much tracks from where I shot him. So I did see uh, vital blood on the ground, so let's pick him up and uh, see where I shot him. So got him at 226 yards, got him in the right lung. That's a very small buck. Alright guys, I'm going to change it up to the 4570. Now the 4570 is good from class uh, 4 to 9. So this has a bit more knockdown power compared to the 3030. Uh, should take down two does. Not the best broadside shots, but uh, I guess that will work. All right, guys, let's pick these uh, 
doze up. So this one got a left lung and heart at 117. And this one I got a double lung and liver at 121. Alright guys, I had a couple of these uh, whitetail come back into their zones. These guys are about almost 200 yards out. This one's giving me a perfect broadside. Uh, I'm going to use a 30-30 on this one. See if I can get uh, some follow-up. I think I'm going to stand. Didn't really want to shoot a doe. Oh, that's a buck. He should still go down from that anyways. Alright guys, let's pick this buck up. It's going to be a gold. Got a right long liver and stomach at 151. Scoring 218. Alright folks, here's another buck. So 213 yards. Got a stomach and left lung. That's quite the angle to get a vital. Alright guys, I did get a call from a brown bear. He's around me here somewhere. I'm hearing, hearing footsteps pretty close. There he is. Whoa. Hopefully I could dig a bottle. Okay, just went down. Sorry folks, I just woke up and I'm uh, continuing on my journey. All right. Hopefully this is a a male because I did uh, get a warning call from a a male. So in fact it is. So got the left lung at 17 yards, and then I pulled off a stomach and intestines. Level six. Sorry right, folks, I came to another white tail drinking zone. I got a small buck here. That should take him down. Alright, let's pick him up. So the first shot got a left lung at 81 yards. And then I pulled off an intestines. Now I'm going to move on and I'm going to try to find another lynx. Or maybe even a raccoon dog to shoot at. Alright folks, it's not a lynx or a raccoon dog, but I do have a level 5. And a level 4 brown bear, brown bear resting about 100 yards out. He's going down for sure. I don't know if that second shot uh, connected with him. Alright, so the first shot busted through the shoulder blade, got a left lung, and then pulled off a stomach and liver. Alright guys, I just spotted a raccoon dog. That definitely knocked him out.
believe I just pooped off another one. 53 yards, got a left lung, liver, and stomach. Alright folks, got to spot another raccoon dog, it's only a female. Alright guys, let's pick her up. 80 yards, got a heart and double lung. Alright folks, I got another spot, another lynx. Not too sure if I'm going to get a shot on him. His health is dropping, but I'm not too sure if I got a vital. I think he should go down. Alright folks, let's pick him up. So the first shot shot him too high, got the vertebrae, busted through both shoulder blades, and then I hit the shoulder blade again at 164. Well folks, I think that's going to be the end of this journey using the lever action rifles. So I do think it is a good uh, combination to use uh, these two rifles on this map. Like I said, the 3030 is good from class 2 to 6, so you can hunt the uh, raccoon dogs, and you can use it on the lynx, and you can also use it on the whitetail, and then anything bigger, obviously you're going to need the 4570, because the bears are, I believe, the level 7, and then obviously the bull and moose are level 8, or any of the moose are level 8, and you can also use the 4570 on the white tail as well because of level 4. So that's going to do it for this clip. For those that watch my videos, I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.